Just a quick explanation of the new uh, 12 channel reads encoder. This is the prototype. Uh, we've uh, toggles for 10 channels in this case, it will do up to 12 reads channels. Obviously in reads you have two channels per function. We have on off switch there, variable servo transit speed, these two buttons I'll explain later and this is the single channel emulation button. Inside we have a 2S LiPo, a um, orange uh, Futaba style module, just one I had spare. One of the eBay cheap uh, nano uh, boards which are available for two or three quid, very cheap. Um, the way it's set up, I've got it set up in my uh, one of my many impalas here with a couple of spare servos. They, they're just um, hanging in there just for demonstration purposes. So we've got rudder, elevator, uh, this is the throttle, reads throttle. Throttle moves at half speed, whatever the variable speed is set to, throttle and auxiliary move at half speed. And ailerons. Now if, I, if I bring this round. Well, say we want some uh, right rudder trim. We have elevator trim on the toggle. I don't know if you can see that. That's a bit of elevator trim. You hear the longer trim beep at neutral, so that's neutral trim. If we wanted rudder trim, um, conventionally what we've done with the pick encoder is you, you hold simultaneously elevator trim and the function you want. So if I want some right rudder trim, I do simultaneously elevator trim and right rudder. And now we're getting some right rudder trim there. Put it back again. Now, it has this trim lock function whereby I'm still holding up elevator trim there, having done the uh, rudder trim. Still holding that, but it's not doing elevator trim because it's locked. It is now, it's doing elevator trim now. It's just a, a, a way of making it easier to use, that's all. Uh, right, the uh, rudder, single channel button, one for right, two for left, kick up elevator, that's an option, one for right, two for left. It will also do sequential, if you prefer sequential rudder. Um, it has a variable servo speed, so let's... Uh, just demonstrate that if I can. That's that's the full speed, and this is the slowest speed. Now the easiest way to demonstrate is that is if I put it into sleep mode. This is for range testing. The idea being that you can leave the transmitter somewhere, walk away with the receipt with the uh, model. And just watch for, and then I can vary the speed. It's very, very smooth. It's one microsecond resolution, so it's quite smooth. Well, it's very smooth. The old reed servos were notoriously slow, so that lets you emulate the old Bonner Duramites and what have you. Quick flick of low throttle takes us out of that. Now, on the Tiny 6, um, on a six channel reed set, you just have rudder elevator throttle. So you wouldn't have um, a trim, but um, a trim toggle. So what we did on the Tiny Six is we had a button whereby you press the button and then do whatever trim function you wanted. That's up elevator trim and rudder trim. Hold the button. So we've got the, the facility of either a proper reeds toggle switch for up and down trim which you can use simultaneously to give you a rudder elevator throttle trim or you can use a tiny six style button for trim choice one or the other because this is a prototype I've got both on there uh, but normally you'd have one or the other um, right, this one is rates this button so say say that's too much uh, rudder movement what I can do is press the rates it says R for rates I can now move that, it stays where I put it, I can just move the rudder to the maximum movement I want. 
maybe that's a bit too much, back it off a little bit, let go. It says V, which is the end of ATV, and now that's the amount of movement we've got. Do it again. So that's not enough movement. Let go of the right uh, ATV button. And that works on every channel. Get these, uh, these servos. Um, so that's too much aileron movement. A for ATV. That's the amount of movement I want. Uh, ATV trims or reversing. Uh, just at the moment. There we go. Right rudder. To reverse, we hold whichever function you want to reverse and switch on. This delay is caused by the orange module. So, so now we're uh, now we're reversed. The delay is the orange module booting up. The uh, encoder boots instantly. That beep is the orange module booting up. And it has to establish the link. There we go. So that's the reversing. So we've done the transit speed, the re uh, ATV, uh, button option of the button trim, single channel. Um, it has a um, inactivity timer whereby if I just leave that there, don't touch it for 10 minutes, it starts beeping. Um, the resolution is one microsecond, so it's really smooth. It has a VTEL mixer, uh, the option of a VTEL mixer, just put a link on D7 or a switch on D7 and that sets your rudder elevator into elevon mode whereby um, both move up on elevator, both move down elevator and then on rudder they move alternately. Um, it has, we've seen the range check suite mode, um, the, the Morse identifiers it does, um, it does a, a, you can do a reset to default, which so is a D. Um, when you reverse the channel, it says R. Uh, when you set ATV, it says A. At the end of ATV, it says V. When you go into scan mode, it does S. Did it? Um, it does Futaba ATR or JRTAER order. And I think that's everything. There you go. Up to 12 channel reads. Doesn't have to be 12 channels with single channel emulation. I think that's everything. I hope I've not forgotten anything. Cheers.